We over at Jason's house doing some water changes, filling up. We haven't done a little aquarium video in a while, so we thought we'd catch everybody up since there's some big plans coming soon. Here goes your boy doing mass work. In this heat, man. Oh yeah, it's like over 90 degrees in the South Bay right now, and that's like extreme for us. Don't make fun of us, but it's we're both sweating like swamp everywhere, so. So we're gonna move one of these calico bristlenose males and we're gonna replace it with one of the super reds that we have out in the 45 just so we can mix up the genes a little bit. We're gonna mix it up and have one super red male with a calico female, a calico male with a calico female, and then we have the two albinos. So we're just switching them over to make everything a little cooler and more fun for us, see what happens. So we got him moved into his new home He's got a little cave in here for him to hang out at, even though he has no female. So anyways, this guy's in his new home. We're gonna try and like give him a little extra food and get him bigger, get him nice and healthy, and then maybe we'll put him with the albino female. We wanna switch up the genetics as much as we can just so we can see if we can find some new traits hidden somewhere or something. This is going to oh, no, be no, no. a real challenge, getting this uh, guy I'm out. Oh, he's swimming in his cave, so we can just take out the cave. That is the Perfect for us. There you can see the little clown angel fish swimming around in there. They actually have a batch of eggs. They went bad pretty much. There's still a few good ones. We might try and mix them in with another batch just so we can get a few clown babies, but. So there's the female chilling, and the new male's in there. He has little snails and some rocks in with him, but hopefully they both get along and we get some babies out of these guys soon. All righty, so here's the 45 where the male, the super red male just came out of. You can see now it's been like a week or two. I'm not sure exactly, but there's guppies everywhere. There's babies, there's males, females, so they expand really quickly. We're hoping to be able to continue this Japanese blue sword line, but also maybe make our own color of a uh, sword. Also you can see there's like a million cherry shrimp and some really nice ones actually grew out all over the caves. All over the filters back there. They're all over this wood stuff, all over this rock. And you have to remember, we started with like six to ten cherry shrimp. And now we have so many. They're everywhere, literally. There is a little calico baby. I think we put it in the other video when the first calico pair had babies, but you can see right in the middle of the screen on that rock there's a little one that has a little black on it and that's a calico baby there's another little calico baby you can see it's definitely a calico compared to the albinos it has a lot of black on it but it still has those orange spots and then you can see an albino in there to the right no spots at all so hopefully those grow up pretty quick and we get some cool little bristlenose going a calico bristle nose and then there's some albino baby right behind it one of the other batches you can see those are everywhere too there's some on the glass back there below the heater there's some on this rock right here they usually hang out under the leaves but we ran out they ate them all that's what that little skeleton pile is but look you can see how many are down here the albino ones we've had a, a couple or a few clutches from, so there's a good amount of albino babies in all different sizes, and there's a few calico ones mixed in there. So there's some big ones, and there's some smaller ones for comparison. You can obviously see the difference. And those are about three weeks apart. You can see these guys are laying eggs a grip. This is the original fish finders pair. All right, so there's the male, and there's the female. There's all their eggs. So that's the male calico that already had babies. We saw one in the tank. It's hard to get a better view because they're still really small, but you can see the female poking her head out back there. Oh, she went away and hid. 
But anyways, that's why we exchanged the other Calico male with a Super Red male, so we get a little bit of mixed genetics. You can definitely tell that he's red and not patchy compared to the old female there. Here's another shot of some of the albino bristlenose babies. These albino bristlenose grew like twice as fast as their brothers and sisters that are in the 45 because we feed these angelfish fry so much. And you can see there's darker ones in here. That's the other albino variety. There's a dark albino and a light albino. And you can see we have a lot of angelfish fry in there. I think that's like two or three batches. We ended up having to mix a couple because we ran out of tank space real quick, but we have that handled now. And here's the first batch of angelfish. They're probably around six to eight weeks old. You can see they're pretty big. They're definitely ready to sell. We're gonna go into the fish store on Tuesday and see if they want to make a little deal with us. We have a couple bristlenose that we could possibly sell. We have the angelfish and the cherry shrimp. They'll have a little good selection from us, but you can see how fast these guys grew and how much cooler they're actually starting to look. There's a few in here that we might keep back, but we're not sure. Some of them have like a little mask thing going on, like this guy over here, and then the ones by the sponge over there and then that one in the back that's all black and white we're hoping that we can maybe keep that black mass going if we keep breeding those together but since we have such a small amount right now we're probably going to end up just selling all of them this is also the pair that's going to be given away when we hit 100 subscribers i think we mentioned it before when we hit 100 subscribers we're going to post that pic on instagram and then if you comment on that pic or share it or whatever, we'll give exact instructions when it happens. But you'll be able to win these guys right here for free. And you can see the eggs. They're laying eggs for days. And these are all their babies. And those are all their babies. So they have fry for days too. So if you want to win a cool pair of fish for free, get into angelfish breeding or any type of breeding subscribe to the old fish finders channel give us a like give us some comments but this pair could be yours we're a little bit of more of a third of the way there there's a little easier comparison you can see the first batch of albino babies we had is like bigger than the cherry shrimp now so they're probably about like three quarters of an inch or something. Almost the size of the guppies. There's a couple that are the size of the guppies. Doing a little shuffle. We brought this male over from my house. Because we think one of the tanks over there has two females in it. So... We're going to drop him in there and see if he does some work and we can get another pair out of it. So there's the female we're going to try and pair him up with. She has a gold back, but it's hard to see with no light. And that's the male. We float him for 15 minutes and then we scoop him out and pop and drop him. Some people float him for longer, but I've heard that it can stress him out and some people don't even float him at all. So we just do a short 15 minutes, make sure the temperatures are pretty much the same and we either scoop them out with our hand or a net and that's that these are the parents that you'll see the fry from upstairs that's the dad the darker one on the left here's the wild caught they're actually starting to look real nice and they're getting to about breeding size some of them and here are the smokies they're obviously facing the other way we kept back all the ones with the lightest stripes you can see the one on the left still a little dark but i think that's one with special markings on the other side anyway so we mix the smokies with these guys to see if we can get some cool pairings the lighting's not the greatest in here but you can see this is a, a little bit of a smaller batch i left the eggs in there for a extra day by accident well kind of as an experiment and they ate a lot of them but you can still see there's like one or two hundred probably 
And those are from the, the darker marble pair that I, I was mentioning earlier. And then there's a good view of the wrigglers that just came out um, of their eggs, I think yesterday. That's probably the most we've ever had. There's probably like six or seven hundred in there. So that's that little setup. We have a jar with wrigglers and then we have a small batch of fry. All right, so I did a little water change. You can tell it's a little clear, but these guys just eat so much. I have to do two five gallon water changes per day. Buckets and buckets. All right, so I know we haven't done an aquarium video in a while. Like I said, we've been really busy. We've been busy with fishing. We've been busy with raising fry and we're starting to move all the tanks and getting to a one location. So it'll be easier for us to make videos and there'll be a lot more to show. But um, I hope you like this one. Give us some comments, subscribe, let us know what you want to see, anything special. We can do some DIY projects or teach you how to raise the fry or do a live bear video because uh, we also do the guppies so we can teach you how to breed some live bears or what else have we not done. I don't know if we've done a cherry shrimp video. Anyways, there's a million things we could do. Let us know what you want to see other than that. Peace out, fish homies. I hope you liked the video. Keep it cool. See you soon.